Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest addition to Ubiquitous Unify lineup, the U7 Lite and the U7 Inwall. These devices are marketed as Wi-Fi 7 access points, but there's something important missing. No 6 GHz band. Is this just a marketing ploy or does this device bring meaningful upgrades? Let's break it all down. Before we get into the specifics, let's talk about what actually defines Wi-Fi 7. According to the Wi-Fi Alliance, Wi-Fi 7, also known as 802.11BE, brings several key advancements. Multi-link operation, 320MHz channel width, lower latency and enhanced efficiency in a dense environment. But one of the most anticipated features is access to the 6GHz band. Many brands including Ubiquiti, TP-Link and MSI are using the Wi-Fi label without necessarily including all of these features and the U7 Lite and U7 in wall are examples of that. So what does missing 6 GHz actually mean? Without it, these devices won't be able to take full advantage of Wi-Fi 7's increased bandwidth, reduced interference and the ability to handle more high-speed devices simultaneously. While Ubiquiti lists speeds of up to 5.4 gigabits per second for these APs, real-world performance will often be much lower due to congestion and interference on the 2.4 and 5 band. The 6 band significantly reduces congestion by offering more channels, freeing up bandwidth for both legacy and new devices. Without it, Wi-Fi 7's top-end speeds are much harder to achieve. It's like buying a sports car without a turbocharger. It still runs well, but you're not getting the full performance you expected. Another key feature of Wi-Fi 7 is the multi-link operation called MLO, which allows devices to connect to multiple frequency bands at the same time for better reliability and performance. However, MLO works best when using all three bands, 2.4, 5, and 6. Since the U7 Lite and U7 in wall lacks the 6, MLO is limited to just 2.4 and 5, making it less effective than on full Wi-Fi 7 devices. It's like having a 4K TV but only watching 1080p content. You're still getting a good experience but it's not quite what you were promised. Now, let's look at what these new access points bring to the table. The U7 Lite model features a 2.5 gigabit uplink port, which is a nice upgrade from the previous entry-level Unify AP. It supports MLO which helps improve reliability by allowing devices to connect across multiple bands simultaneously. It is also a budget-friendly option but it lacks the 6 band meaning it won't fully utilize Wi-Fi 7's high-speed potential. The U7 Lite is rated to cover approximately 1500 square foot making it ideal for smaller spaces or as a secondary AP in a larger network. It supports speeds of up to 5.4 gigabits per second though real-world speeds will be lower due to 5 gigahertz congestion. The U7 in-wall is the most advanced option of the two featuring a 2.5 gigabit input port and two 2.5 gigabit pass-through ports, one of which supports PoE output, allowing you to power a camera or another device. Now that's a great feature for those who need both networking and power from a single wall-mounted access point. However, without the 6-band support, it won't be able to deliver the lowest latency and the highest speed performance that the full Wi-Fi 7 can offer. Its coverage is rated around 1800 square foot and supports speeds up to 5.7 gigabits per second. The U7 Lite is capable of up to 4.3 gigabits per second on the 5-band because it supports 240 megahertz channel width, a feature that helps increase throughput in Wi-Fi 7 access points. So how do this stack up against the previous models? The U7 in-wall model had four pass-through ports, but they were limited to just one gig speeds. The new U7 in-wall reduces the port count to two, but upgrades them to 2.5 gigabits per second, which is a significant performance boost. The U7 Pro in-wall is a true Wi-Fi 7 access point with six gig support, but it lacks the 2.5 gigabit pass-through port. That made it less appealing for those of us who wanted both top-tier Wi-Fi and additional networking flexibility. The U7 Pro is a ceiling-mounted AP that fully supports Wi-Fi 7, including the 6-band, but like most ceiling-mounted access points, it lacks pass-through ports. Many of us were hoping for a U7 in-world that combined the best of both worlds, true Wi-Fi 7 with 6 gigs support and 2.5 gigs pass-through ports, but instead, Ubiquiti split the features across different models. The reality is that Wi-Fi 7 isn't just a future technology. It's already here. Many flagship devices like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and various iron laptops already support Wi-Fi 7 and 320MHz channel. However, because the U7 Lite and the U7 in-wall lacks the 6-band, 
these devices won't be able to take full advantage of their maximum potential speed. Devices that support 240 or 320 MHz bandwidth like the newer Wi-Fi 7 routers and flagship smartphones can hit speeds over 5 gigabits in ideal conditions. However, in real-world use, congestion on the 5-band limits those speeds significantly. The 6-band provides a congestion-free environment allowing Wi-Fi 7 devices to fully utilize their capabilities. Without it, you won't get the same leap in speeds and efficiency. At the end of the day, the U7 Lite and the U7 Inwall are good devices, but they come with trade-offs. They offer upgrades like MLO, 2.5 gig and PoE pass-throughs, but without the 6-band. They miss out on the full benefit of Wi-Fi 7, such as the ultra-wide channels, lower congestion and higher speeds in busy environment. For many people like me, the lack of the 6 GHz band is a deal-breaker, but for others, the improved speed and pass-through ports might make them worthwhile. However, with more Wi-Fi 7 devices hitting the market, the need for a true Wi-Fi 7 access point is becoming more important. What do you think about the new APs? Would you buy one or are you waiting for something better? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.